Hey everyone, okay, so today we're going to talk about quick shot using Swift and uh, over here I have written, I have already written down the algorithm and how it works and I have an unsorted array and then I have a function which is called quick shot. I pass this unsorted array over here and then I get a, as a return I get shorted array. So what is quick shot? Quick shot is a divide and conquer way of sorting an array of unsorted array. Okay, so how it works is, uh, as, as it says, right, divide and conquer. So we divide the array into two arrays, which has lesser array, which has less uh, uh, values, lesser than the pivot array, pivot element and values which are greater than the pivot element. So what we do, okay, I didn't say that. First, first step is select an element from the array and this element is called the pivot element okay and for example select the middle element of the array and that will be the pivot element okay and then all the element which are smaller than the pivot element uh, will be in one array and all the element which are greater than the pivot element which we place in another array okay so we will divide our array uh, based on our pivot er element and we'll have two arrays uh, from our first array, we'll have two arrays. First uh, array will have elements which are less than the pivot element, and the second array will have elements which are greater than the pivot element. And then sort both arrays by recursively applying quick short on them. So we'll keep on keep on short uh, keep on dividing our arrays. So let's say we have uh, element of these many elements, right? We take um, first element as our pivot array pivot element and then based on this we'll have two more um, you know two more arrays and those are arrays will be one array will have elements less greater than seven and another array will have elements lesser than seven and then on those arrays like on those short uh, divided array will again apply quick short and we'll keep doing it um, until we have our sorted array Okay, so how we do it? Let's see. So in QuickShot, uh, this is our QuickShot function. Over here we have an uh, input of array, and then we return an input, uh, uh, return output as sorted array, an array of sorted arrays elements. So what we do is we create three. Uh, we create three uh, arrays. One is less equal. Uh, then other is equal and then other is greater so less array will have all the elements lesser than the pivot element equal uh, array will have all the elements equal to our pivot element and greater array will have all the elements greater to, to the our pivot element okay and then we'll check we'll have a if condition which will check that if array count is greater than one this would be our condition to come out of the loop of uh, this recursion uh, recursive calls right as as long as our uh, divide divide of array like we are dividing the arrays right as long as we have uh, array with the count of one will keep dividing it and as soon as the count is over we will know that okay now the count is over now definitely i have the array which is sorted shorted already okay so this is our uh, condition to come out the come out of the uh, recursion calls so what we do is first we create our pivot element and in this example we take um, first element as our pivot element you can take any element like you can take middle element you can take uh, the last element you can take any number element of your array as your pivot element okay and then what you do is you do a for loop for each of the element in your array so for each of the element in my array x is nothing but element in the array um, i'll check if the element if the current element is less than pivot then we i add, append it in the less array if it is equal to pivot then i append it in the equal array if it is greater to pivot then i append it in the greater array and then i return a quick shot which will have quick shot less it will uh, call quick shot recursively 
for the less array and then equal is our pivot element which will be in the middle only and then quick short uh, greater would be elements with the uh, array of element with greater like higher numbers than the pivot so pivot anything uh, after the pivot equal is nothing but equal is the number of elements which are uh, you know which are pivot and anything after this would be greater than the pivot and anything before this would be less than pivot but these arrays are not sh shorted yet right so we'll again ap apply quick shot again on this so again we'll do quick shot for this array and then again we'll have uh, three more um, uh, you know we'll define less equal and greater and then uh, we'll add uh, we'll take first element of this uh, lesser uh, the second uh, array in uh, pivot first element of the second array in the pivot and then the same thing right the same thing which we did with the main array we'll do with the sub arrays as well and then lesser than those like sub to sub arrays so we'll keep doing it until our array count the count of array uh, is as long as it is greater than one and once it is done we'll return our array and that this array would be our sorted array this is how quick shot work, work you just divide it and then you keep doing it as long as divide it and then separate the lesser and greater element uh, based on your pivot element and then you keep doing it as long as your array is not shorted and you know so over here we are getting a sorted array you can see over here so we pass seven two six three nine four and we get two three four six seven nine if you didn't understand it um, you can just uh, google more about it I, I will leave a link to one of my blog and uh, to my github repository where you can find this code so you can understand more about it i have written the whole algorithm as well in my blog so i'll leave that and time complex complexity for quick shot is o n log n okay because uh, we will be uh, we are running our uh, this uh, arrays for you know n times like for each of the elements right but we are running it for log n time because we are dividing it and then based on that whatever lesser and like we're not running it for double times we are running it for uh, o n time and then we are running it for log n time log n comes when you divide your divide your array and then run loop like do your calculation and everything on the divided array so this is what this is what we are doing we are dividing and then we are figuring out okay that this is the lesser element this is the uh, greater element so we'll keep it over there and over here so that's why it is o n log n but in worst case if your um, if your array is completely in reverse order like 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then in that case it will be o n square okay and in average case also it is o n log n yes so this is quick shot i hope you like it was a, like you understood i mean i hope you understood if you didn't then as i said i will leave some links and maybe that can help you cool thank you so much for watching i'll see you in next episode and we'll talk about merge shot in next episode thank you